Hi, this is Rabbi Daniel Rabin of the Northeastern Jewish Center. I'm not sure if you got to see that amazing YouTube clip that's going around these days of Novak Djokovic, you know, world famous tennis player during a game, it was raining, and he sits down on the bench and there's a ball boy holding the umbrella for him. And he calls over the ball boy and has him sit down next to him, gives him a drink, has a schmooze, even holds the umbrella for him. It was really quite moving and quite a profound message, I think, that we can learn from that little episode that occurs on this video clip. In our portion this week, the Torah tells us that the heads of the tribes, the Nisiim, the princes, they brought offerings to the tabernacle, to the Mishkan. And it tells us that Moses was told, take from them that which they are bringing. But it seems superfluous. If they're bringing it, someone is going to take it. Our sages tell us that it highlights to us that they themselves, the heads of the tribes, carried, physically carried the offerings, the wagons, whatever they were bringing. They didn't get their helpers. They themselves, the heads of the entire Jewish people, did it. And I think we can extrapolate a powerful message from this. I don't care who you are. I don't care how much money you earn, whether you be the prime minister, the greatest rabbi, whether you be the top sports person. When it comes to matters of Kedusha holiness, and there's no greater holiness than the way we deal with our fellow human beings. Everybody has to show basic dignity, respect, kindness, even warmth and friendship to our fellow human beings. And we see that our sages teach us how the princes themselves, when they saw there was something which is important, like bringing things to the temple to the to the tabernacle they themselves were involved and therefore as we integrate or involve ourselves in different parts of our lives we meet different people don't forget this message no matter what type of job you have what type of experience you're involved with never forget that when you interact and you deal with other people to always show that basic kindness warmth and respect I wish you a great Shabbat and may we only merit to have good things in our lives See you next week.